Hey y'all, it's Lisa from Our Gray House Vlogs. I just loaded up my first load for today to go to the storage unit. I'll probably only make a couple more trips, if even that. At least one more trip, but we'll see. Because um, I've got some other things to do to clean up in there. To get ready for the drywall guy to come and fix the drywall. I'm having another guy come out and give me an estimate. And depending on who's got a better price, that's who's gonna come fix my stuff, but I still need to get ready for the guy to come out, whichever guy it ends up being. So, that's on my plan for today. Marvin is out at my sister and brother-in-law's house helping put up a fence, and it's a beautiful day out today, especially compared to the cold weather that we've had for the last couple days. So, let's get on to the storage unit. Okay, y'all, I'm in the storage unit. I've got my load with, <laughs> I just ran over my foot. I've got my load with me, and I'm headed to our area. It's a little bit of a walk. No, I mean, not too bad. And it's inside. We chose a climate-controlled unit just because, in case some of the stuff that we decide to store needs it. And yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna load this up and get going. So it's not like I have like this strategy about loading up this space here, but make, mainly it's kind of like that Tetris thing that I told you guys the other day. I'm just trying to like move this box, move that box, make sure it's bottom heavy, not top heavy, if I can. And yeah, and Marvin's not helping me because he is helping my brother-in-law and sister do the fence and it's a really great day to do that so and I can do this by myself so uh, not a problem although I may treat myself to hot chocolate afterwards so I just hit myself in the head with the ladder good time Another fun fact to keep in mind when packing is not to pack things that you'll need. For example, I packed up our luggage, except for one piece, all of our travel stuff, like the travel shampoos, all that stuff. I packed them away because we didn't have any trips planned. But then, Mark went on a work retreat trip for two days, and it's like, hey, where, where's all of our stuff, blah, 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 and I'm like, I thought about it. I would have said, oh babe, the, the stuff's just right, it's right there. It's right there. But when he remembered that he needed it, it was late. And neither one of us really wanted to come to the storage unit. And honestly, I'm not even sure would have, if it would have been open by then. But nonetheless, he made it through the weekend or through those two days without our special stuff. And it was just fine. I just finished my second load to the storage unit and I decided to stop by the house because I was going to take a couple of measurements just so I had an idea of about how big some of the things are. So I kind of can start to formulate what I'm going to put in that space, where I'm going to put this or that, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, guess what I see? Drywall, drywall, drywall. Which means we're gonna start putting sheetrock up in the house. When I say we, I mean the builders, of course. But uh, yeah, pretty exciting. So day, I think this is day 128 or so of the build. I think so. And we've got drywall going up. So that's pretty fun. 
Pretty fun, pretty fun. Not drywall going up. We got drywall in the house, which means it will be going up soon, probably this coming week. And they're also supposed to pour the driveway soon too. And I think grade the yard. So after they grade the yard and pour the driveway, they're gonna be pretty much done outside, aside from the siding, of course, the hardy board siding. But um, then the outside will kind of be done and then we'll just finishing up the inside. So it's all pretty exciting. Um, it's all, every time I come, I feel like it's getting real. It's getting, it's already real, but yeah. It's just like, we're one step closer, one step closer one step closer so it's exciting and it's fun so do you guys have any questions about the build not that i probably won't be able to answer them yes we live really close to a fire department fire station number one in fact one of the places that i wanted to measure was this hutch area just to kind of get an idea of how big of a hutch i could put there i need to ask the builder about that because gosh if they really are doing like building, doing a built-in for me, that's gonna be fantastic. That's fantastic. There's a lot of mud in my house. And they're, I know they're building in the mud bench. So gosh, if he does, that'll be fantastic. Kind of excited about that. But not too excited because I still need to text the builder just texted the builder and I'm waiting to see what he says. Not like I gotta wait here, but I'm just saying, we'll see what he says and then blah, blah, blah. And I'm in my laundry room now. This side's my closet. This is my other closet. And this, this is the laundry room area. So I have obviously room for a washer and dryer. And then I have a small cabinet for like folding clothes and we're gonna have, here, let me show you. I've showed you guys this before, but if you're new to my channel and or you haven't watched the other videos, this is my laundry room area. I've got a washer and a dryer right there. And then this is like a little folding cabinet area. So it's gonna have a top to fold and then a cabinet beneath where I can store things in it. And then it's gonna have upper cabinets here too to put things like, uh, you know, laundry soap and whatnot. And then over here, it's gonna have just a hanging rack. So when I take stuff out of the dryer really quick, I can just hang it up really quick. And then after I hang it up here, I can just march it right inside there and put it away. Isn't that fantastic? I saw that in a model home and I thought, that is something I definitely want in my house. I want the laundry room right off of our bedroom. It's just my husband and I and now if I had kids, I might would it on, want it on the side where the kids were, because we have split bedrooms, but I don't. I mean, I have kids. I have a lot of kids actually, but none that live here. So yeah, this is all, this, this works perfectly. In addition to picking out things like the floor tile, the tile for the bathroom, the handles that we want, we also have to just think about furniture placement and where stuff is gonna go. That's why I'm trying to measure, because we have these two chest of drawers and we thought okay we'll put them we'll put them like right here and then over here like kind of mirroring each other and that's a pocket door right there and then i thought well i'll make it feel kind of tight right there but i mean we're not going to be going in and out every day so not really a thing maybe and then we were trying to decide okay like are we going to put a rod over here then rods all around or or what so i'm not really sure because i do need a space for my shoes which i don't have that many shoes but i do want like a little space to put my shoes so i think i'm going to put it in this extra closet over here but i don't know here's you guys can maybe help me decide okay so this is the laundry room area and this is the cased opening, so there's no door. It goes straight into my secondary closet. Now this closet, my intention for it was off-season clothing, so that way I could put sweaters and whatnot in here when it's summer, and then switch it out for when it's winter, put all my shorts and tank tops and stuff. But Texas has super mild winter, so it's not gonna be that much switching in and out. But anyways, so I thought, well, 
Do you want to walk into seeing my shoes there? Although they'd be neatly put up. But, or do you want to see like, should I put like two clothes racks there? And then just put the built-in shoe thing over here? I don't know. What do you guys think? So the door to the laundry room is right here. It's right there. And then you step out. That goes into the bedroom. This is a cased opening that goes into the living room kitchen area. Okay, I just noticed this. I don't know. It says family blogs. Yes, we do. But it's actually vlog with a V. We're like famous on YouTube. <laughs> So here is our fireplace, and I don't know if I guys told you guys or not, but see how it has like the little mesh on each shot on each side on each side. This stuff right here, well, we didn't actually want that. We wanted just the glass, like a solid glass front. So my builder had told me that we would have to have the one with kind of like doors that open, and I'm like, okay, well, it's not really what we wanted, but I mean, it wasn't like a deal breaker for sure. But he just let us know the other day that we can get just like the solid glass panel front. So that's what we're gonna get. I was just texting back with the builder and he said, yes, it's a built-in. So I'm like, that's fantastic. Now I don't have to try to source a cabinet that fits or like a hutch that fits exactly there. Now, of course, having just like finding a hutch might be cuter because it'll be a little bit more eclectic and original looking I guess I don't, I don't even know the word I'm trying to think but like if I was trying to do like a farmhouse or something but this hutch area is going to have like it'll be kind of like a sideboard area or buffet area and we'll be able to put stuff there and it's going to have upper cabinets I'm like excited now because <laughs> then I could put like my additional dishes that I don't use every day instead of putting them over here I can put them over there so that's going to work out great and that's exciting so he's gonna double check the build out plan like what he's like charging us for and what's covered under the build just to make sure so I hope it is because that would be fantastic plus there's like two electrical outlets over there and I'm like yes so anyway we'll see we'll see what happens the builder also wanted to know if I had or we had to I say I but we because it, it really is a we decision if Marvin and I had finalized our granite selection and we have not because that guy didn't really text us back and it's the weekend and the marble company's not open on the weekends but uh, they open up at 8 on Monday so I'll be up bright and early ready to do that and um, yeah so that's that's kind of what uh, I need to finalize that so because I need to make those decisions. I need to get home and finish cleaning up my house and getting it ready for the drywall guy to come over because we've got to be doing our stuff while they're doing stuff here so that it all comes at the right timeline. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, well, I'm going to skedaddle and get back to the house. So, I was in the office, or what was my office pulling up the carpet tack strips around the room because if we have just like a blank canvas for them to work with, they don't charge us anything extra. Um, and like in the secondary room, the bedroom, I have, what do I have? Laminate flooring. So I've got to pull all that up. So that way, when they come in to do the carpet, they don't have to charge us for like tearing stuff out. So anyway, while I was doing that, I got a call that one of my clients wants to go look at a house. So I'm going to head that way and... I'll probably film more over there. Hey guys, 
So I actually forgot to film when I was at that house. It's a huge house. It's 3,800 square feet and upstairs, downstairs, all these little nooks and crannies. It is customized in several areas, but I did take some pictures. So I'll insert that. I'll have inserted that before this clip here. So at least you get a little peek at it, but um, really cool house. And there's a good chance that I'm going to go back to it. So this time I will remember to film just so you guys can see it. Cause it is, it's pretty, pretty cool little house, pretty cool little house, pretty cool big house. Um, we stopped by, so I showed Jennifer and David that house. And then we stopped by our new house so they could see that cause they hadn't been inside yet to look at it. So we went to go do that and looked around and yeah, I showed them all our first stuff and it was, it was pretty fun and it was pretty exciting. So to have like guests over before we actually have our house done. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, I am getting a cold, so I'm not sure if I'm going to church tomorrow, but um, cause I don't like getting other people sick. I don't think I'm contagious, so probably we'll go, but we'll see how I feel in the morning. Um, but I, go, I hope you guys had an awesome day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.